There's not uranium in all 10 feet of these rods. It's only in the eight and a half inch heat zone near the bottom, about really? a football size zone. That's where all that reaction would take place. For this particular reactor, they operated using about 60 kilograms of fuel. And that means that there wasn't enough for it to go critical by itself. That's why this outside breeding blanket was necessary. It acted as essentially a reflector. It's made of 84 bricks of uranium-238. They're set up in this cup shape on an elevator just below the reactor core. The hydraulic elevator would bring that up around the core when it was ready to turn on. It'll reflect neutrons back inside and give you enough neutron flux for the reaction to occur. So we didn't use control rods for startup and shutdown. We used this for startup and shutdown. That blanket. Mm-hmm. Okay, remember our board with all the stuff on it? I'm gonna put you on this tripod right here so we can look at how to start up and shut down the reactor. All right, so here, let's check it out. So as we raise the blanket, we start the nuclear reaction. And to stop the reaction, we just drop the blanket. That's how this works. So we have a physical control now for nuclear power. 